Hey everyone, welcome to Jira for Beginners Training. In this tutorial, I'm going to discuss how you are going to create a new project in case during the sign up process, you haven't been able to create a new project or you have skipped the step and also cover some of the templates and explain that Jira is not just about software development projects, but it's across your enterprise. You can use it for marketing, for legal, for HR and a number of other departments to plan and track your works. Okay. So, first thing is once you are si once you sign up right you will be landing up basically on the jira site whatever name say for example here you will see that i have specified the name as uh, rcv academy hyphen us right so that's how the site will list that that will be the name that will be asked when you sign up and that's the link where your site your site will be or jira instance will be spinned up right now in order to create a project the first thing to understand what exactly is project within jira so project you can consider on a high level you can say that project is the list of work items so whenever we say a project that means you want to build something let's say you want to build house okay or in, in the uh, in the construction space you are building a house in the software development space you are building a product okay a software app an android app or ios app now in order to build something you need to first plan okay then you need to drill down and during that planning you plan the high level of tasks that need to be covered that need to be completed right so planning and then during that planning making sure that what all you will need and what all tasks will be required in order to complete this particular work for example building the house right so planning you define the floor plan you define the architectural plan right that's more of a planning then procuring the raw material then procuring the people who are going to work right basically having or hiring the team that is that is going to build that particular product so all of these are the work items that need to be completed in order to build the team to plan it and then once the team is there then you have the tasks to complete so that your house gets built right so for example task of building the windows task of building the walls task of building the the, the floor right so all of that is the tasks or the work items that will go into a project so a project is a list of tasks or to-do list that need to be completed so you have the end product whether it's software development whether it's your construction whether it's something else right so within the project you have these to-do items so on a high level that's the project in a very layman term now in order to create a new project within jira you simply go to the project and click on create project right then there is if say for example you go to the view all project as well you will get the create project template there as well right so you have the templates and the create project so view projects will basically list you all the projects that are there existing in case you already have created you will see the first project that was created during the sign up process here in case you don't then you can go ahead and create a project so if i click on create project you will see these project templates are by default available within jira that you can straight away go ahead and use to create project and for example for if say for example your project is all about software development you can go to the software development and then you have different templates for example kanban scrum top level planning cross team planning or product roadmap or just for bug tracking these are some of the templates that you can use to create the specific project and each of these templates have the default workflows associated and all of those default configurations that usually most of the time if you are a sim if you have a simple requirement and straightforward requirement you these will be sufficient for your project work okay if you are a service management uh, project you can go ahead and click on service management template and choose accordingly all right now there are some premium templates or basically some of the templates which are not available in the free account but there is for learning jira free account is more than sufficient even for using up to 10 users if you are a small enterprise this is the best tool to use and be more productive and efficient across your small enterprise then you have product management marketing human resource all these sections are there that can be used depending on what your enterprise or what your requirement is if you are just operations you are legal you have these different templates available that you can go ahead and choose and then create the project accordingly all right so as of now what i'll do is i'll mostly cover jira software so it will be software development and i'll cover kanban and scrum so let's go ahead and create a scrum project so i've chosen the scrum template and i'll say okay use this template 
in the right hand bottom here and then you will see that you have the template we have already selected you can go ahead if you want to change to kanban or something else you can change it and then you have this project type now within the project type you have team managed and company managed project now what exactly is the difference team management project are the simple projects so for example if you are a small team and you want flexibility to manage your pro project independently and do not want much reliance or dependency on the administrator jira administrator then you can select team managed project because it will be simplified configuration and it will give you simple workflows and easy to set up and things can be managed by yourself when you are creating team managed project for a particular team right but there are some limitations that you won't get comprehensive reporting you won't get you won't be able to pull issues from other projects in in your board but if you're a simple team or if you're a small team and you just want to manage work within that particular team you can go ahead with the team managed project but if it is a company managed projects then that means that the schemes the configurations that will be used will be shared across multiple company projects so for example this is your company rcv academy global is my company and there could be multiple locations where jira sites are for example rcv academy india rcv academy us australia then depending on the sites the company managed projects will be across different sites and jira administrator will have the common config can set up common configuration across all locations based on schemes right now that scheme is the jira admin admin task and that's not we are going to go ahead with but i'm just explaining you that you can you know that what jira admins will do and if you are selecting company managed project that means you will be sharing the configuration with the enterprise schemes and configuration that will be shared by other projects as well okay it's not always uh, necessary but most of the time if you are using company managed project the company administrator or jira company jira administrator will be managing the project configurations for you but it requires expert configuration so as of now let's go ahead and select a team managed project okay and then we'll have a company managed project which i have already created and i'll show you the differences so i'll go ahead with the team managed project which which will give us more flexibility and i'll say in the team managed project i'll say rcv academy android app okay so and then access level so here in the access level you you can specify only admins and people you add to the project can search for view create or edit so you can choose the access level in here or you can keep it limited anyone with access to rcv academy us jira site can search or view or you can keep it open that means anyone with access to us can search and view for right so i'll keep it a little limited and then click on next and here you go the new project that we just created rcv academy android app got created and then you will land up here wherein you will see the board this is the board default board that you see to do in progress done right and then in the left hand side you will see timeline backlog calendar list etc issues which i'll cover in the upcoming video so this is this was more around introduction of the uh, project what exactly the project is and then how you are basically going uh, to go ahead and create a project different templates okay and because we will be learning mostly jira for software development uh, but you can correlate same concepts for other domains as well it's not going to make much difference so we also understood about you know creating project template etc now in next video from the end users perspective i'll cover some of the key terms that will be helpful for you to use jira in future okay so that's all for this video i hope it was helpful see you in the next lecture thank you